Hi, Collective. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Bobby from Astro444. This is going to be a general uh, collective love message here from the good, the bad, and the ugly love deck. So um, you'll have to excuse me. My voice is a little bit deep this morning. I've got some allergies going on, so I do apologize for this. All right, let's get started and get us a love message for the collective. This will be for all 12 zodiac signs. So only take what resonates for you and leave the rest. If it, the messages do not fit, do not force them to fit. It's most likely not your story. Okay, so let's get started and see what the love message is for today for April 9th now, right? April 9th, 2022. What is the love message for the collective from the good, the bad, and the ugly? Someone's missing you. Keep hearing Rod Stewart in my head. Blinded to the truth. So somebody's blinded to the truth right now. They don't not seeing what's real. Or they're not they don't want to listen. Or they don't want to see. Uh, I can't control myself when we're together. Okay. Blinded by the light. Maybe the, your light irritates this person. I don't know. Uh collective. I want to make things right. So Someone's got some intense feelings here towards you. Something happened on Monday or something may happen this coming Monday. Someone wants to come back together. Yeah. I ain't missing you at all. Maybe you're saying I ain't missing you at all to this person. <laughs> all right. Collective, what is going on? Rainy days and Mondays. Maybe it'll be raining on Monday. Somebody wants to make some fireworks here. Could be making a big move. Something surprising could happen on Monday. Let's see what else is going on here. What are the messages? What is this love message here for the collective? Milk and honey. All right. And lay you down on a bed of roses. Ooh. All right. I want to lay you down on a bed of roses. So somebody wants some sexy time here. Someone wants to make fireworks. They want to make things right. But do they want to stay? Because they want that milk and honey. We got bondage coming out. And you're saying thank you next. Okay, like I said, maybe you are not so uh, sure about this connection or this person here, okay? But this person's got a lot of sexual tension here built up. We've got Saturday, Monday and Saturday. Today is Saturday. How about that? We got an apology. And we got let's be honest. So if someone wants to be honest with you, make things right here, and apologize. They feel like they're stuck. They could feel like they're bonded to you, especially sexually. There's some type of sexual connection here. A lot of chemistry. Someone's avoiding you right now, collective. They don't want to. Uh, they're blinded to the truth here. So we got romance. Yeah, this person definitely wants to romance you, wine and dine you lay you down on these bed of roses surrender 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 but don't give yourself away so this person doesn't want to get to give themselves away but they want to surrender they may not want to commit they may be a non-committal you may know this already here collective we have removing obstacles someone's removing obstacles out of their way or attempting to or saying that they are maybe you remove this obstacle Let's see, we have unexpected delays. So, um, like I said, this person feels stuck right now, depending on what they're, de what they're dealing with. Hang on, we got some flyers here, Collective. I want to conquer you all over and over again. This is someone that wants the 24-hour overnight. They also want control over you. They're also trying to take control and remove obstacles out of their life right now, but it's a, they're at a standstill, at a pause. They can't move. We have taken for granted, so we also have scammer alert on the top. So this could have been someone trying to scam you. Took your love for granted here. Your time, your energy. We have a water sign and an air sign and it cahoots together. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh, looking for their next target. Opportunist. 
lot uh, an intense sexual connection here with this person though yeah attention this person is attention seeker looking for love in all the wrong places looking for love in different area codes okay we got uh july and we got a leo coming out so cancerian energy here um possible leo cusp and definitely heavy leo energy Something could have happened during Leo season. You may be dealing with a Leo. You could be a Leo. Someone wants to put a ring on it. A Leo wants to put a ring on it. A Cancerian or a, can a Cancerian, a Leo cusp. We have unexpected. So something's unexpected here. Unexpected surprise. All right, we have respect my space. So collective, you're telling this person that you just want space. You don't want. You don't want to deal with this right now. You're doing your own thing. You may. Most of you have moved on, especially if this is your story. You're saying, "Get out of my space. Stop bothering me." Maybe this person is bothering you. They're reaching out. If not, Saturday or Monday they may reach out. I want to protect this love. Somebody's trying to sneak away. Could be trying to get away from their problems. More money, more problems. So. <laughs> Oh, we got long-term commitment and bad intentions. Yeah, this person does want to put a ring on it. And they do want to say that they want long-term commitment. But there is bad intentions here because we got a scammer alert. And you have this person blocked. Or there's no communication at this time. For some of you, maybe you have received communication. Or you will be here possibly today. I can be shady. Someone can be shady. They need to get out in the sun and get some more sunlight. We got the stripper. So, and waiting for someone like you. So, you may, you may be a stripper. You may be dealing with a stripper here. I don't know. A gigolo. It's going to be different for all of you here. You know, sex for money in this situation. Maybe they want to see how much it costs. Uh, okay. You can't buy somebody's love. You can't buy somebody. Well, I guess you can buy somebody's sex, but... I mean, for people that are desperate out there, but there is more to this than you know about. We've got my heart belongs to you, and we got stop. Somebody doesn't want me to talk anymore. So they're saying <clears throat> there is more to this story than you know about, Collective. There's more than this stripper involved. It's a uh, Leo. I don't know. I don't know if it is a Leo or not. I mean, it could be anybody. It's somebody that has Leo in their chart. Maybe they're in that energy right now. So we have spring. So something could be happening here in spring. Yeah, using friends to figure you out. So somebody's trying to use their friends to figure you out. Maybe you are unapproachable right now. You're saying respect my space. All right, we got May coming out. So we got Taurus and Gemini energy. Something could have happened during the full moon or this next full moon. Somebody's trying to make up some bullshit. Okay, we got Virgo energy. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith, this Virgo or this Leo. We got Libra coming out too. All right, a fire sign and an air sign in cahoots together. We got a water sign, an air sign, and a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Something going to happen during Virgo or Leo, uh, Leo or Libra season or in the fall. We got breakdown. Somebody can break down. Yep. Because they're on a power trip and they're doing damage control or damage control needs to be done. That's what uh, the unexpected delays is that's holding this person up. Any one of these uh, energies could have went on a power trip. The Libra, the Virgo, the Leo. We got a Gemini, a Taurus, a uh, Cusp. And we've got a, um, a Cancerian and Leo Cusp here. Let's see. Being held accountable for their actions. Okay, so this person's needing to take responsibility, or right now they are taking responsibility, and maybe they're trying to get out of that, get out of what's going on around them, and come towards you. I'm ready to open my heart to you. So somebody's saying that they're ready, that your heart belongs to them, and theirs belongs to you, your, um, to you, and they're ready. It says my love for you is stronger than ever. So. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger in this situation, I guess, right? We have, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, and we have, this went too far. So maybe there was a prediction too. So somebody predicted something. Maybe you did collective with this person. 
said that, you know, something was going to happen or something wasn't going to go right. I don't know. And uh, it, it went way too far. You are my main addiction and obsession. So this person is addicted to your energy collective. You are my safety net. So you're also this uh, person's stability. Promises, broken promises. So this person could have made promises and not stuck with their promises, broke those, says, you are my sunshine, you make them happy when the skies are gray, which they're going through some gray skies now, trying to uh, take responsibility for and be held accountable for their actions here in this situation, okay, so, but they do want to take a leap of faith to, you know, at least attempt a second chance here, okay, we have synchronicity, somebody's repeat, seeing repeated number sequ sequences, could be 1010, could be 777, could be 888, 999, if you've been seeing any of those. All right. We have illusions and clouded judgment. So somebody's confused. Like I said, we started out here, they're blinded to the truth or not wanting to see. All right. What else do we got? High horse, somebody's on a high horse right now, or maybe needs to be knocked down a few pegs off a high horse. We got February, something happened in February. Could be a Piscean um, energy here. We have lingerie, so somebody wants you to maybe bring lingerie to you, or they want you to wear lingerie, or they think it's sexy when you wear lingerie. They want to see you in it. We got heartless, so somebody's a heartless thief. Somebody trying to steal, not appreciative of love. person doesn't really care about love or they didn't before they met you collective a thief in the night aladdin here we got on repeat so this is the same cycle here it keeps going back and forth or you've been on a repeated cycle with this person let's see when we have you made your bed now you're laying it so it's time to you know take responsibility for these repercussions Held, and be held accountable for these actions. Maybe that's why you're keeping your distance from this person. We have warning, pay attention to the red flags and walk in the park. Somebody may want to take you for a walk out in the park. Also be careful when you're out walking in the park. Pay attention to your surroundings here. All right, we got holding on. So somebody's holding on, not letting go or don't know how to let go. We have Sagittarian energy coming out. Letting you go is the hardest thing I ever had to do. There's a lot of envy around you right now and insecurities that uh, this person has not addressed, okay? That they need to take accountability for and work through uh, childhood issues or family-related issues, relationship issues here. This person may not feel good enough Maybe they don't feel like they're very lovable. This is something that this person's used to. This has been their life. Third party situations. And it says, you are my person. So this person is definitely saying that. They know for sure you are their person. They see your true value now, collective. All right, we have, I could listen to your voice all day and night. So somebody's listening to you. If they have a recording of your voice, they're listening to that. If you have platforms, they're listening to that. If you're on social media, they're listening to that. If you post anything, trying to see what you're up to here. They got friends watching you, monitoring and, you know, going back and forth and giving them updates on what's going on with you. And if you have somebody, we have relapse, somebody relapsed and we got the jackpot. So someone got lucky. Someone feels lucky, like they got the jackpot. Maybe somebody played the lottery and they hit the lottery. If not, maybe you need to play the lottery here, buy a scratch off. Okay, all right. We have someone has a voodoo, someone has a voodoo doll and is doing voodoo magic on you. So, oh Lord, what is wrong with people getting into stuff like that? Bridges have been burned and a blessing. So it was a blessing to get out of this situation. You burned this bridge. I don't think that collective, you will take this person back, even if they do come and apologize and come to you in a correct manner and that's a blessing 
because this person was doing um, some type of magic on you with a voodoo doll for sure. They could have been doing other types of magic on you also. I mean, I don't know your situation. It's just the messages that are coming out here. So you done burnt this bridge or you're going to tell this person that, uh, that bridges have been burnt here. You're not going to be put in a third party situation. You're not going to be treated and walked on um, like a doormat here. Pay attention when you're out and pay attention to your surroundings. You do have this heartless thief that's still around you, whether it is this person or not. Someone's on a power trip on a high horse. You know, you're tired of broken promises. You want the real thing here, okay? This person needs to do damage control in their own life before they focus and, you know, decide to come back towards you. Too shady. There's too much shade here, not enough sun. You are the sunshine in this person's life, and they're stuck in shade. They're stuck in the dark side. So they took a road, uh, a road, uh, they took a ride on the dark side, and you went towards the light. So, all right, let's get some initials here and see who this message could be for. But they do want to commit. They just don't want to stay. They want to be able to do what they want to do. They still want to be free, single, and mingle, right? We got C, and we've got an X, and we have a niece involved. We have a mother that's involved. All right, we have a U. There's a crucifix here. There's a G. I'm going to say the messages that come out. I can't uh, guarantee that they're going to be pretty messages that come out. It's, uh, you know, I can't control what the messages come out of my mouth. It's what I'm channeling at the time here, okay? So, and if I see something and I'm asked to say it, I'm going to say it. So, here we go. We got a G and an N. We got a W or an, an M, so take it as it resonates. It could be either or. You reverse the, the roles, okay? And what fits to your story. We have a male. All right, and we have a D. We have an E. We have a Q. It wants to come out. We have a coworker that's involved. We have a grandpa and a sister. A cousin and a why. Could be somebody asking themselves why. I think that was in yesterday's reading and, and somebody's reading I did where they kept asking why. They didn't understand. So there's a lot of confusion, clouded judgment here. Someone not seeing the truth and someone not wanting to see. All right, we have an F. We have an R that wants to come out. Something Friday, something is significant about Friday. We had Monday and Saturday, too, so let's see what we got. We have a grandma. We have an I. All right, let's get the messages here. So, people, we have a cousin involved, a co-worker involved, a grandpa involved, a sister, a male, a niece, a mother, and a grandmother. And they could be, uh, you know, one or two people, or they could be many people here. You could be a couple of these individuals here, these energies. It's energy, okay? So um, only take what resonates for you guys and, and leave the rest, but that's who could be involved in this connection here. Yeah, Friday, fried foods. Fried foods are significant here. Someone indulges a lot in fried foods. Maybe they're eating out a lot, not cooking. Someone needs a friend. All right, so we have Jen or Jenny. I hear Duff. Something with the cinema. I don't know if you're planning on going to a movie this weekend. Going to the theater. Dwight, see Dwight.
I see prey, so somebody could be a predator here. I see Nicole, Nick or Nikki, either or. Be a doctor, so somebody could uh, need to see a doctor here, get some type of medical attention. Maybe there's an illness. Um, somebody's going to a fry. Maybe you're going to a fish fry. Definitely fried foods are, are significant here. Somebody's cooking a lot or eating out a lot. Well, we have... Um, some weapons here involved. There's a, there's a gun, guns involved here in some way, shape, or form. Something's written. Something's written out, like a, a notarized uh, piece of paper. I don't know if somebody's looking for that or somebody, uh, there's something about a notarized piece of paper here. I see Rick, Richard. I see Queen. I see medications. Somebody's going to pick up medications this weekend. Or somebody got new scripts. Maybe you got a new diagnosis here. Somebody's in dire straits. Money for nothing and my chicks are free. Or your chicks are free or whatever. Dudes, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I do see dunes. Somebody's on ice or somebody's being put on ice. Somebody could have dropped their phone here. Maybe you had to put that on rice too to help dry it out. Maybe you dropped it in the toilet or your child dropped it in the toilet here. So you're worried about your phone, if you're going to be able to work or if I got to go buy a new phone. You know, kids do that. It, it happens. Doll babies in the toilet, you know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, Yanni? I see Yanni? <coughs> Maybe you're feeling a little unbalanced right now. You're trying to work on grounding yourself a little bit more. Uh, pine trees are significant or pine, pine wood. Somebody's chopping wood. Something with a dingo. Ring, ringing out, or maybe you're ringing out clothes. If you know, uh, back in the days we used to wash our clothes and then hang them out on the clothesline. So maybe you're ringing out your clothes and hanging them out on the clothesline. Maybe your dryer's not working right now, so that's what you have to do. I mean, we got to resort back to what we were taught, right? So, <laughs> in those types of cases, so. All right, somebody's waiting for a payday. Maybe yesterday was payday or Monday's payday here. Somebody's got a lot of pride. A lot of pride. Especially if they're power tripping here. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn energy. Somebody could be going to the gym or could be working out. Trying to tone up a little bit more. Somebody could be on the run or somebody could be running. Somebody could be getting married. Somebody did want to put a ring on it so there could be a wedding here. Someone is very cunning. 
cunning with your words or just a, you know, the energy that you give off is cunning. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Ironic. It is ironic. How about that? Somebody said, isn't it ironic? I think I picked that up on another read a few weeks or a week ago or so. Maybe it was a few days ago. <laughs> Somebody's trying to, I come from a land down under. So, so something wants to be under wraps here, trying to keep it hid underneath. Trying to, to go inside to hide, though. There's like a hidden energy here. All right, so we have F. Y, G, R, C, N, P, E, Q, X, I, U, D, and W. First, middle, last, initial. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is your love message uh, for today. And if it resonated, please leave me a comment below. I appreciate all your love and support for my channel. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Take care.